Hey y'all, this is Lisa Alford with Talking Jacks. So if you are thinking about moving to Jacksonville, you might want to know about these 10 surprising things about the Jacksonville, Florida area. And before we get started, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my videos. So number one of our 10 surprising things about moving to Jacksonville, always the first rule of real estate, is location, location, location. And Jacksonville, Florida is certainly great in the location department. With Jacksonville being located at the top of the state, it actually makes it very central to getting to a lot of other great southern locations. For instance, it's a half hour from St. Augustine, which is the oldest city in the U.S. It is about an hour from Gainesville, Florida. It's about two hours to Orlando, Tampa, and Savannah, Georgia. About five hours to Miami and Atlanta, and about six hours to Charlotte or to Greenville, South Carolina. A little bit further and you can drive to Key West, New Orleans, Birmingham, Chattanooga, Knoxville, even Raleigh and Richmond. All of that is within a nine hour drive time. You sure can't get to all those places in that short a time from the middle of our state. Want to go someplace even further? We actually have an international airport here in Jacksonville. Number two on the surprising facts about living in Jacksonville. There's no income tax, y'all, and there's no tax on the groceries at the grocery store either. In fact, there's no tax on inheritances, gifts, or intangible personal property. Think of all the money you'll save just by living here in Jacksonville. Now, real estate taxes, that's another story. Florida is ranked number 23 out of 50 on the real estate tax scale. Statewide, Miami-Dade collects the highest real estate taxes, and Dixie County, I don't even know where that is, actually collects the lowest taxes, and here in Duval County, we're right in the middle. Number three, Jacksonville is the largest city by landmass in the continental U.S. In fact, the city of Jacksonville is 840 square miles. That is a big city, y'all, but it's a big city with a small town feel. The people here are really friendly and like to help one another. Now, as much as us having the largest city might surprise you, what might also surprise you is that Jacksonville is the youngest city in Florida. The average age in, in Jacksonville is 36 years old. So if you want to move to Florida, but you don't want to live with all the retirees, you might want to think about Jacksonville. Number four, parks. Jacksonville has the largest urban park system in the entire United States. In fact, we have 80,000 acres of parks. Y'all, that is four times the size of the entire island of Manhattan. It includes seven state parks, two national parks, a national preserve, and 400 city parks along with gardens and an arboretum. You can do tons of activities in our parks, including fishing, hiking, kayaking, biking, and paddleboarding. And I interrupt this program to ask you once again that if you are liking this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring that little bell so that you don't miss any more of my videos. All right, number five of the things that are surprising about moving to Jacksonville. We have a huge arts community here. In fact, you'll see arts everywhere all throughout Jacksonville. Local, national, and international artists have left their mark all over the city of Jacksonville. You'll find it even in the neighborhoods and especially the historic areas and downtown. If you are looking for art, you don't have to look far. Just take a drive around our beautiful city or go to one of the great museums or performing arts theaters. Number six, tourism. Tourism is huge here. Now, why do you care about that? Well, because tourism brings dollars and it brings new people into the area, which is always refreshing the community. But did you know that Jacksonville gets 22 million overnight and day trippers through our city every year. That equates to $3.8 billion per year for our city. And that breaks down to $10.4 million per day. 
yeah, per day. That's a lot of money coming into our city just from tourism. In fact, all that revenue keeps our taxes down. The net savings to our community is about $700 per household. Thank you, tourist. Tourism also employs about 50,000 people right here in Jacksonville. Number seven, I like this one. Jacksonville is the birthplace of Southern Rock. That's right, Southern Rock legends, Leonard Skinner and the Allman Brothers were formed right here in Jacksonville. So with so much history in Jacksonville, you might be wondering, hmm, who is Jacksonville's oldest living resident? Well, I'll tell you, that brings us around to number eight. Jacksonville's oldest living resident is Treaty Oak. Treaty Oak is located on the south bank of downtown and has a circumference of 25 feet and is over 70 feet tall. This beautiful tree is also the largest oak tree in all of Florida. Okay, number nine. Did you know that Jacksonville was the actual first place that Disney wanted to put Disney World? That's right. Walt Disney wanted to make Jacksonville the happiest place on earth. But unfortunately, Jacksonville turned them down because they didn't want all the carnival folk coming through. Yeah, maybe not the wisest of choices. Number 10, save the best for last y'all, beaches! Jacksonville has more shoreline than any other place in Florida with 1,100 miles of shoreline and 22 miles of white sandy beaches. Oh, that's something to be enjoyed, right? So if you're starting to think that Jacksonville might be right for you, first of all, be sure to download that guide that's in the link down below. That'll help you. And secondly, please be sure to reach out and contact me. I'll be glad to help you with the transition. My name is Lisa Alford. I'm a realtor in Northeast Florida with Florida Homes Realty and Mortgage. And for everybody, thank you for watching. And again, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and ring that little bell so that you don't miss any more of my videos. You guys have a great day.